Well, hello, folks. This is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. Hope everyone's having a good evening. Well, we're here doing an overnighter. There's my um, TP tent from TMU. I don't have the wood stove with me. It's supposed to be 50s, maybe upper 40s. I'm not sure. Good weather. I do have my hoodie inside there. I got a wool blanket and, of course, a tarp, some pad. And that's just mostly to keep me out of the mud with the pad because I left this thing set up while I was sick. Reset it up, but unfortunately, the mud in there didn't dry up. It's not bad out here, but in there, it's still kind of iffy. But that's all right. We'll make deal. Um, supper's not going to be nothing fancy. I got beef sticks I'm going to munch on water. Then tomorrow's breakfast. Basically, going to be a cup of coffee. I still got beef sticks left. I'll eat on that for breakfast. I will do morning video. Another thing I got going on is I'm going to put a fire pit right there. But I'll get back to you guys. I gotta show you something. Alright, I am camping in style tonight. As you can see by this chair. Now, this chair is an Ozark trail, but it comes with this cover. You just put it right on the chair so you can be comfortable. So, you guys have probably seen this chatchet before. I've never really shown it off. I've used it. It's not bad. It's uh, probably from China from the looks of it. So, Canada, S U L K A D A, sounds China. I don't got, got my mud on the blade here. But, and I have used this part to drive stakes into the ground, not too bad. Wish it was hair bigger, though. And plus, I split wood. It's not one of those things you do that with. The handle's not wooden, so I baton it. It beats batoning a knife. But I am able to get through wood. This is pretty sharp. The only downside of this thing is I can't keep the cover on. As you can see, if I'm going to drive in stakes, I have to take the cover out. So I have to be careful when I drive in stakes. But it's not that bad. I'm not sure what the hell this part's for. Might be a pull-out stakes. I might try that. We'll see. But not a bad little axe or hatchet. Not really an axe. Not long enough. More of a hatchet. Now this chair. Well, this is a silky, and we've all seen the big boy silky. Has pockets in it. Place for a drink. There's my beef sticks. And trash. Bug spray. And folks, I'm still using this bug spray. It still works. It's from last year. Now, this bottle's about empty. I do have another bottle of it in my tent there. Um, we have pockets. I can hold my gloves in the pockets. We'll talk about this in a minute. We're testing something from Team U. It might be complete junk. I'll tell you that the I don't believe the compass works on this. I don't believe. I think I said in my short that it did. But inside this pocket, I got my pathfinder. Right, what you want to call this thing? A flask from Pathfinder. PF something or some numbers. PF44 maybe. But anyways. Hook it on your belt, whatnot, with this particular thing that I bought. It holds the canteen. I hear that? These were tight, but they do stretch, and well, you will get that rattle eventually. But that's not a big deal to me. I can actually stick this in the side pocket of the Pathfinder without anything, and you won't hear this rattle going on. Because the pocket on the Pathfinder bag is tight enough that it'll keep them rather around. Yeah. Let's talk about this. It comes inside this cover. Feels like a cheap cover. And when I say the compass don't work, it don't work. See that? That's part of the handle. This compass. Yeah, this compass doesn't work. It came like that, so it's a cheap. Basically, it's a gadget. You can hook it on your belt if you want. I guarantee you. Probably, well, I thought I could rip it right off, but I, nope. All right, cool. So here's the shovel itself. Let me get rid of this. Fold that over. And I think this is just the gadget. I really do. We're going to try it out. It looks like it has a ball open on it. See that? Now I don't have a bottle to try it on. 
This, if it's supposed to be a saw, I can tell you, that ain't gonna work. Um, the edges aren't sharp, so I'm not beating nothing with it. I can probably, if I wanted to, it has this on here. And I can tighten that up, or I can just use a shovel. So right now I'm gonna tighten this up, I think. I think. It seems to be. First time I've actually missed this part. I've had this for a few weeks to a month now. Haven't had a chance to get out. Alright. So like I said, this looks like a ball floor, which to me on a show was a stupid what the hell. And this part looks like a saw. So let's go try out the saw part on this part. I don't think it's going to do nothing. We'll give it a try. I got something to saw on. Get back with you guys. Alright, this is part of the tree I moved out of the way. I won't be using that when I get to, to the fire pit. So let's try out this saw and see what happens. Well, it's making a dent. I guess he had to. That ain't bad. I mean, it's making a dent in it, but this is actually kind of thick in all fairness. So let's pick a thin one here. I'll pick a thinner one. Yeah, you'd be all day sauce. That's a thing. I'll show you where it made the cuts. I didn't go too deep, otherwise we'll be here all day and it's turning a long ass video. So I'll get back to you guys. So you can see it did cut, but you'd be here all day. It didn't cut all the way through. Let's find this thin one. It did cut. But you'd be all day. Better have silky or another kind of saw, saw, saw. So, so far, this really a gadget. I'm kind of curious about this part though. I might try it tomorrow. I don't have a beer with me or anything, so. But yeah, we'll see. Anyways, right, I'll get back with you guys. All right. Now, in case you guys are wondering, I do have an army folding shovel like you see in the army those things are heavy there's been another shovel i seen it's supposed to be like wait good shovel i've seen our bush crafters with them and it has a wooden hand on it so i might just go that route but for now let's see what this thing does well not bad for a shovel yeah that part's working great i'm not gonna make too big of a hole here but yeah that's working As far as getting this built up, not bad. Yeah, I threw it out there. I never didn't mean to. Let's see if I can get back. Yeah. Just kind of mold a thing here. I might put some rocks. Well, yeah, I might just do that instead of this. I could do that, I could say. I might just use this. I have some grills I want to use like I'll make coffee in the morning. But for now. Alright, show part's not too bad. Let's try it. Me unscrew this. Oh, the hands wanting to come unscrewed. There we go. Let's try this part. It's supposed to kind of act like a pick. Get this loosened. Good. Back on there. Yeah, let's see if I had to. Oh, that ain't bad. I can scrape some out. Do have some roots up in here. Goes out. Well, the shovel part ain't bad. Here's the pick part. So, yeah, this might work this great. I can just do this too with the shovel. The bent up like that. Now 
That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. All right, well. A lot of roots in here. There we go. Roots out of there. They say you catch roots on fire to have an underground fire. Get your fire around here as wet as it is. God, it just got my face. Look at that. And there we go. Yeah, I'm going to call that good. I'm not going to dig too big of a hoe or too wide of a hoe. You can see shovel part works just like that, or you can dig with it. That part works for scraping, so that's good. Well, let me get you guys back up here. All right, it is gimmicky. I'll give you that much. That part of it don't work at all. Came like that, not working. This part works. And this part works pretty good for a shovel or just to scrape like I was. I'll scrape one with this right instead of using it for a pick. Not sure how good a pick it would be. The saw part, not really. All front part, I'm not sure you want to open up a bottle with the dirty shovel, but I guess it was an emergency you really needed a beer or a soda pop, something to open a bottle with, I guess it would work. I can't think of anything else for you borrow a bottle. So... Not great, but not bad. They're doing a pinch. There we go. Get back with you guys. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and show you around the TMU tarp. Uh, TMU tarp. I mean a TMU TP tent. And then we'll get a fire going. We'll hang by the fire for a minute. I'm not going to do really supper. So, and I'll end the video like that, and then we'll do a morning video where I have coffee. And you saw how the show works. You saw my old Zark trail chair and the, how that works. So I'll show you over here around the, and I'll show you inside the tent too. Get back with you guys. All right. Right there's where my fire pit's going to be. Not very big, but that's kind of how I want it. I do have some wood here. There's the black and white fire starter stuff right there. I got my grade out. I'll fit it back in the tent with me. I was wanting to make sure it fit across there. That's what I want when I go to make coffee in the morning. Now, here's the TMU tent. I do have it. Let me see if I can zoom out. It looks like I got it zoomed in. There we go. I do have my lines attached. I knew I was going to be in a wind storm. That night I was supposed to camp until I got sick. Now I'm going in from the other side here. They had some problems here staking it down. There's two doors on this thing. Y'all know there would be a chimney here if I was using my wood stove, which we are not. I put rocks all the way around it instead of using all these stakes. It takes a lot of stakes to get this thing staked down. You see that red thing? That's a loop for the skirt. If you're do not pull on these. I already ripped, they rip off real easy like. On um, this I just have tied to the tree with the trucker's hitch, which is right against the tree. And I didn't tie anything from the bottom. That requires more stakes than I had. Everything you see is already bowling out up there. So Marlin spy kitch on the stakes. I'm using heavy duty stakes for some of this because I ran out of the other stakes. So and I did find a good way to get them out of the ground. If you use the heavy duty stakes and they seem stuck in the ground, grab some cordage, wrap it around the tent stake or the marlin. What I did was I used the bowlin. Then I put the cordage through the bowlin up on there. Wrapped around the stake and usually just like that and pulled it up. So I already got the door open. But it's like this all the way around with the tie outs. And it's all the same. Bowling up there. Modern spike hitch down there. Here's what we got. 
And I swear this thing set up smarter than what it did I had in the front yard. As y'all know, if I had trees in the right spot, I wouldn't need that pole. There's a loop right there. I can just use a ridge line. But my trees aren't in the right spot here. So we're going there to the pole. There's my Pathfinder backpack. That's how I'm getting out of here with it. The heaviest thing in here will probably be my wool blanket. Now I didn't consider the tarps. The tarps might be fun to take it home. I might have to come back down here with the wagon. I didn't think about that tarp. Damn. All right, the wagon wears me out. I mean, I got this stuff to climb over the wagon by the time I can climb down to the road or even the railroad tracks with the wagon. So I might have to actually come back down here. But anyways, let me get back in there. That's right. I haven't used a tarp, as you can see, mud. Didn't dry out here as I said, this tent set up. Extra water there, rain poncho that I might need. Another great grill thing. The expedition research is where I got them, or where she got them. I think I got these for Christmas, but there's the other one. That's what I'm having my coffee out of. And this is where I'm sleeping. I got my wool blanket. My pad. Mine has to put on the hoodie, I don't know. That's all I really got. It's not really supposed to be cocoa. And of course, there's the pole. I do have some of the gap. I'm not worried about that gap. So anyways, I'll get back to you guys. All right, we're going to try this stuff out here. It's black and white fire starter. It's got wood chips in it. I don't know if you guys can see the colors of that or not. There we go. I'll dig my knife out and put some on here. And then we're just going to use a lighter. Get that out of the way there. Whoops. Get a little bit in there. Get my hand in my pocket. I did find out from my hand, it's not asthmus. Another guy having problems with his hand, we both might be allergic to latex gloves. They are ordering more gloves without the latex thing in them. So hopefully my hand will stop doing where the hell it's doing. Seems like every time I got it on a trow, get a little bit more net in there. This stuff feels solid. Try not to use the whole thing. Yeah. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. I didn't think it was that hard. Alright, I got some down there. I'm going to try to break a little bit bigger piece off here with my, light, my lighter. So it's got cotton in it. Let's find out. I'm going to mess up a little bit here. I wasn't expecting it to be hard like that. I don't think it's a hit back on. There we go. Find my lighter, put my knife back here. Kind of mosquito buzz. They still buzz you when the bug spray on, but they won't land on you. That Pathfinder bug spray is not too bad. Go ahead and light this lighter. There we go. That ain't bad. All right. Some of the steam stuff on there. Yeah, that's going to work good. Holding the flame pretty well. I'll probably go in no time. Remember, fire likes chaos. And one oxygen, so don't just lay it on top of the flame. Give that a minute there. Stitch catch.
That's gonna work pretty good. All right, cool. And you can see I got a flame going. I wasn't expecting that stuff to be hard like that. As you can see, this buying thing from Black and White Fire Star works pretty good. I've been using our product. I probably put that in there one at a time here. There we go. There we go. Nervous. I'm not that close to fire pit with it. Alright, we'll hang up by the fire for a minute. I said I'm not in this video like this. I'm not doing nothing fancy for supper. But I'm not even hungry. I had lunch before I got here and it was a burger. Bigger stuff on. Like that. There we go. that burn we're kind of smoking here it's all right oh, let me pull my chair up and get you guys out of smoke I think it's gonna blow this way there we go it's out of the way get some more leaves out I should have done that before I started this fire but we'll be all right it's not dry, dry, but I guarantee you. These leaves are nice and dry. Try to be as safe as possible with these fires. Move this over here now. You guys still see the fire? Smoky. You guys, sorry for moving around. I think I've been fired when we were on the smoking rise. There we go. Go, oh, make sure my stand is set up. There we go. That tree I took down is actually over that way. So I got plenty of wood that's got saw on it. Not that big of a deal. I don't want a big old fire pit here. In fact, I might take some of the dirt and put it back in there and just cover it back up. Yeah. 
fire for a few minutes. Going good. There we go. Oh, my canteen upside of the pocket. Dirt my chair. Yeah. Go. I'm going to get rid of the trash, burn it. And that's a too big a fire. Hope the smoke doesn't fall in there, Ram. Yeah, I can see water coming out of the... And that was off the ground. Even when it's off the ground, sometimes it's wet. I can see water coming off it. You know how when you're burning wood and you see the water coming out of the... Holy smokes. This is the perfect size fire here. I don't need anything real big. It's not cold. I might do it up some to get a picture. Another thing, guys. Y'all know. I already did one of those. If you watch my last shows, I up my prices and you had. At half PayPal, that's the way I get paid by it, with those bangers in the past. I got big ones, I got small ones, same with bangers. I got big ones, and I got small ones. <coughs> I also got my own online shop. And again, it, you can use credit cards with that, or use whatever you got. I think credit cards, how that one works. But I work through something called Spread Shop. I get a cut. Um, I got a shirt, you guys have already seen it. I got stickers, you guys have already seen, but they have, we, I, or, I, we got, I'm sorry for stuttering, but we got, I'm going to say we beans as well, spread shop. Is we got shirts, we got hats, we got stickers, we got bottles, traveling cups, to a coffee cup, to a camp cup, to a bag that I'm personally looking at too. I can't buy nothing right at the moment, my bank card was hacked and it's been turned off because they went on shopping spray. I did notice that they're refunding the money. And anyway, so I'm getting my money back that I was spent. They spent over $3,000. They went on shopping spray on the 13th. I mean, starting at 2 in the morning. But anyways, enough about that. So if you go to cows dash um tracks dash and dash travels dash my spreadshop.com you'll find me and you can buy that stuff from there anyways i do appreciate you guys hanging out by the fire and talking and we're checking out a few things with me i'm gonna go ahead and end this video like this um y'all know what to do if you like what you see hit that thumbs up and of course, subscribe to me. For those that are, I do appreciate you hanging out with me. I did lose some views with the being sick for a week or two, but we're getting back up there. But I didn't lose no subscribe, so thanks. And also, um, hit the all notification bell when we get notified. Another thing we can do, drop me a comment. I do enjoy, appreciate the comments while I learn off feature. And also, let's share the video out so we can keep it up the chart in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye, guys, and thanks.